Azure Synapse Data Explorer recently went public preview at Ignite. Learn all about it and see a cool demo this week on Data Exposed. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. Today, I'm joined by Henning from the Azure Data Explorer team. Henning, thanks so much for joining us today. Before we get started, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yes, of course, and thanks for having me here. Hi, this is Henning. I'm a program manager in the Azure Data Explorer product group. And in my product group, I usually take care of features around uh, security and geospatial queries. Awesome, cool. Well, we're happy to have you here. And today we're going to be talking about something new, at least something new to me, called Azure Synapse Data Explorer. And this is something I really don't know much about. So I'd love if you could tell myself and the viewers a little bit about the scenarios and what this is used for. Of course, uh, we do so. So today we're going to talk about Azure Synapse Data Explorer. That's a new capability of Azure Synapse. Um, bringing in the Azure Data Explorer capabilities out there um, into Synapse, um, and it enables use cases for log and telemetry management. Let's talk a little bit about the key pillars of um, Azure Synapse Data Explorer. It's actually the same uh, ones as you get for um, Azure Data Explorer itself. So it provides near real-time insights on big data, high volume, high velocity, high variance. It provides you with an optimized engine for interactive query exploration. One of the really key pillars here is our intuitive query language called Kusto query language. You're able to store telemetry data from logs, custom logs, car telemetry data, IoT, industrial, industrial IoT data in it. And the good thing about it, it can scale from gigabytes to petabytes with ease. Um, Couple of the scenarios um, that you can implement with uh, that you can implement with it is um, you can build near real time big data analytics on custom events and uh, log data. Uh, you can build a centralized near real time observability solutions from telemetry sources. You can analyze security logs, and last but not least, um, also IoT analytics uh, solution. And this is the one that I would like to make a. Uh, that I would like to create a, a, a quick uh, demo for you and uh, tell you a story. So let's think about the manufacturing scenario where Alice, she's a production manager at the Vendelay Industries, receives a complaint regarding the quality of a batch of widgets shipped to Contoso. So the information that she needs to use in order to investigate, it's scattered across multiple systems with no easy way to combine it or analyze it. We have uh, data from an ERP system such as for a purchase order, we have data from a manufacturing um, uh, execution system, such as the production schedule. And we have a ton of telemetry data coming from all different um, machines on the production line. Now, the solution looks a bit like uh, you put some data into Synapse and then um, you use, uh, for example, Azure Synapse SQL to ingest, transform, and store data from this ERP system, such as SAP and the MES system, and you use Azure Data Explorer to ingest the telemetry data from the manufacturing process and orchestrate joint queries to reason across multiple databases and perform time series analytics. Last but not least, least you leverage Azure Digital Twins to, to model the entire manufacturing process and contextualize the manufacturing telemetry. So what you see on this slide is actually two things. So first of all, you see the data integration flow, the data integration using Synapse pipelines for the production order and schedule data, and the data integration of the telemetry data at the bottom for the production line via IoT Hub, Azure Digital Twins, and last but not least into Azure Digital um, Azure Data Explorer. Now that we know how the data gets ingested, we can have a look at how a single KQL query is used to combine data from SQL, Azure Digital Twins, and time series data in Synapse Data Explorer. Awesome, cool, let's take a look. Let's take a look, right. So what you see here is a, is a dashboard that, um, um, that, that you can use in order to, to find out uh, who did what and what happened at the production line. So you see I selected here the purchase order um, that is interesting for me is like a, a resolution. And I know that this uh, has been created on the, uh, the 9th of April 
with the production or a number at a certain plant in Munich. Let's see a couple of statistics for it. Um, so something that's interesting in order to investigate what's happening, you see that overall there have been a couple of uh, purchase orders, so 30,000, some um, data points for the manufacturing process. You get some telemetry data. And what you get here as well is um, the, the data of the actual machines. In this case, it's CNC machines and conveyor belts. Uh, what you see here is their telemetry data and the, the data that they are sending. And the red dots, they indicate that there has been definitely some sort of anomaly. You see that as well. You see that on the uh, on this um, CNC machine, and you also see it on this uh, CNC machine. But what is really interesting is on the conveyor belts, you see a strong indication that there has been um, um, an, an anomaly, which might um, which might have caused the, the the purchase order to be broken somehow or malfunctioning. Um, so having that indication. Um, you can use this kind of data in order to tell the customer, listen, something went wrong. Uh, we know what it actually was. It was some of our conveyor belts. Sorry about this. We are going to help you. Awesome. Wow, that's really cool. I, I've never seen this UI before. It looks really awesome and makes yep. it really simple, it seems like, to find these anomalies or anomaly hunt, which I'm a big fan of. Yes. So we can also go, uh, go a little bit deeper into that um, by showing the actual uh, KQL query, which is doing that. Um, it looks quite simple. It's just uh, using a stored function to do that. But um, the stored function is actually um, more than that. So in the stored function, there are a couple of things which you uh, which is actually implemented. So you see here at the KQL scripts, that's a new capability of uh, Synapse um, Data Explorer in the Synapse Studio. Uh, this is a way of, of executing this. This is the data that the UI will get in the end. But the function which is used for that is uh, is very interesting because it's combining data from uh, the digital twins, uh, from the ERP data, and so and so on and so forth. So you see, we're getting this is the function that I'm using for this ana analysis. It's getting the production data from an um, from an SAP system via a SQL uh, pool. It's extracting the interesting data. Once it has the interesting data about the purchase order, it's querying the twin for the plant ID and the line ID to get the data of all of the conveyors and uh, CNC machines that are necessary. Now that I have, now that I have the identities of the uh, CNC machines, I get the actual telemetry data and present it uh, to the UI. So what you get with Azure Data Explorer in KQL in Synapse Data Explorer is not only a query federation engine to SQL, to Azure Digital Twins, and to time series data, but you can also execute on top of that um, time series operations like anomaly detection, forecasting, um, regression analysis, and all of that. That's really great. Awesome. Wow, this is really cool. I'm definitely going to have to go take a look at this. Uh, from my understanding, when we're recording right now, uh, this is currently in public preview. So if you were going to highlight you know, maybe your favorite thing about the capabilities in the public preview, what would you highlight? Yeah, well, it's uh, definitely hard to highlight only one of those, uh, one of my favorites. So if I would um, say, yeah, OK, definitely it's the capability of uh, creating KQL scripts in the Synapse Studio. This is really awesome. Um, I like it a lot. Um, and the other one is not so obvious, but it's um, it's implementing all of the um, enterprise promises um, with Azure Synapse Data Explorer that um, that uh, Synapse provides to, to our customers like managed DNet, data exfiltration protection, uh, firewall capabilities. So this is something that is a little bit under the covers, but it's very important for our customers. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Henning. This has been really useful, really interesting. Uh, we're going to put some links in the description for our viewers to learn more. Uh, additionally, for our viewers, if you like this episode, go ahead and give it a like, comment, and let us know what you're doing with Azure Synapse Data Explorer. And we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed. Thank you.